Well, hello everybody. This hey. is Sam. And it's Cole. Reviewing heavy weapons for the PlayStation 3. No, 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 not 3. heavy weapons. Heavy weapons! <laughs> yeah, I can't scream, but whatever. Alright. So, now, let us get started. I will be playing heavy weapons! Press the X button to start, Cole. Okay, so it's got single player and multiplayer, which is helpful for a downloadable PlayStation 3 game. Yeah. And Xbox 360. Yeah, Xbox 360 as well, well for you 360 owners. Yep. Like me. Uh, it's got three modes for your single player, mission, survival, and box list. I don't know what the hell these things mean. But mission is basically playing through the story, if it even has one, which it really doesn't. Blow the shit out so of anything that is not you. Yeah, pretty much. And the white helicopters that give you power-ups. Don't shoot those. Survival. Online game, pretty much play with three other people and blow shit up. It's a lot of fun, actually. But we'll get we'll touch up on that later. First, we need to continue our mission to destroy anything and everything. Alright, you want to explain stuff while I play stuff? Sure. Because I'll be busy being in the zone, as they say. All right, now, so it utilizes both analog sticks, a lot like a lot of arcade shooters yeah. on the PlayStation like Network. Geometry Wars or Super, Super Stardust. Stardust yeah. it, it's basically left stick to move, right stick to shoot. And it works actually really well. I'm pretty surprised. Uh, yeah, you, you can get different power-ups. Right now I have the laser, which, because it's just amazing, it, and it's raw power. Um, but I'm trying to think of what what this game reminds me of. I know it reminds me of another game, but I can't think of what it is. But Indestructo Tank? I don't think that's a game. It's a Flash game, dude. Oh, well, I've never play. I don't play Flash games much. Huh. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of crap coming at you. You just gotta dodge it and blow crack up, crack, blow crap up to, uh, get get a bunch of points and as long as it isn't you kill it yeah and um, don't forget there's trophies and achievements obviously because every Xbox game has achievements not every PlayStation game has trophies so I'm glad it has trophies but but they're actually kind of hard in my opinion I just got blown up I think I was too easy being in this there's zone. a couple of easy ones but see there's a helicopter drops the chief or sorry um, power-ups. God, you are obsessed with trophies. I am not. <laughs> I just want to get, alright? Uh, so, the explosions look pretty great uh, for an arcade shooter for, a, I think it was a $10 game. Wait till I get a nuke. And it's about, what, like, how, how much are... What is the point system oh, on it's Xbox? About, uh, it's 800 Microsoft points for you folks with Xboxes. Yeah. So, I, w I don't know how it is on the 360, because I haven't played on the oh, 360. Oh, it's fun on the 360. That's the same fun factor as this. So, yeah. pretty much everything is pretty much the same. Alright. Yeah. Except the controls, obviously. Now, check this shit. Hold on, let me get some more enemies on the screen. Well, they already saw the laser, didn't they? No, no, no. Check. Oh yeah, Check this shit nukes. Out. Yeah, yeah. You can just like that is yeah. just great. Like you can't see anything, but that makes it the realism. They're kind of like your bombs on Geometry Wars. Yeah, and and your bombs on Super Stardust, except they're a lot cooler looking. Since when did you get bombs in Super Stardust? You get bombs in Super Stardust. Yeah, damn. It's been two months since I've played it. Um. So, yeah, everything looks great. All the animations are fantastic. Um, they will not stop until you're dead. So you got to keep killing them. Uh, oh, look at I like the cartoony yeah. environment. Like, the background just looks very cartoonish, and everything just looks... It gives a uh, mix of realism and cartoony, cartoony uh, graphics in the same, and it really works well. Um, most games, they... A lot of games, actually, they utilize uh, kind of unrealistic and realistic in it, and sometimes it doesn't work. But even though this is nothing like Grand Theft Auto 4, it has the same case scenario where there's goofy stuff and there's realistic stuff. And it works really well. 
Because this is on a much larger scale. You're a fucking tank. Yeah, this is much more unrealistic than realistic. So you're a tank that fires spread bullets and lasers. And at every field. end of the, at every le end of each level, there's a boss. Some harder than the next, obviously, as you're progressing. So it's it's very arcadish, if that's even a word, but uh, it's. It, it, it has a very good arcade style feel. Yeah. And that's what I love about it. Because I love arcade games, so. You a fucking pussy hiding in that thing. Let me tell you, that is one smart pussy hiding in that crane. Yeah. If only you could, like, get out of your tank and, like, snipe him in the head or something. That'd be pretty sweet. So, yeah, you can do upgrade different things for your tank. And, and that's pretty cool. By getting certain points and just completing levels and stuff, so. Yeah, then. Yeah, but, aren't. but what I don't like about this game is it, it just spikes in the hardness level. Uh, Maybe I'm just not that great at these kind of games, but nope. even though I do enjoy them, it's just a little hard for me. I, I can't beat this level, and apparently Cole can't either. And, and it's only level four, and there's only there's only nine levels. I still think it's a boatload of fun, and I it is it. a lot of fun. It's, it's just hard and. That might uninterest some people because they might want an escape for an easy the game. Or, oh, another trophy! Yeah. yeah, nice. We just got a trophy. If you destroy the if you destroy the white chopper, you get a trophy. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, why didn't you do that earlier? Uh, I I don't know. I just figured I'd do it now. All right. So what else is there to talk about on this game? Um. Well, multiplayer definitely adds a good experience. It's a lot True, of it, it adds the lasting pure appeal. Fucking chaos. Let me tell you that. Yeah, it's yeah. If you if you have like three other people exactly, yeah. and just three other people in you, you will have a ton of fun. It is super chaotic, and just it looks yeah. amazing. And I love it. It runs perfectly too. There's no stuttering or anything. So that's great. I love that part that's about great. it. What are you gonna give it, Tim? I give it probably an eight. The effects is great. The funness is great. It's just a little difficult at times, um, and and you can just it has a couple of different modes if you can't find people online or friends to play with. So of course you don't have friends. It has a pretty good lasting appeal. Um, it's just a little hard and myself. I I give it I give it and an it eight. doesn't have enough trophies. Yeah, I give it an eight point five myself. I mean, I love, um, I love, uh, an I love Anarchy, anarchy Destroy em, um, Chaotic, Shoot em Up games like these, which is why I'm a big Geometry Wars fan. Well, then, don't get me wrong, I love those games too, but this game is, like, kind of different from all of them, than all those that you're talking about. Okay, I'm In a way. Alright, so, I guess we're just gonna get, we're just gonna get bombed, like, right now. We're pretty much dead. Yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed the review, and it's definitely a, a check out. Yeah, it, down the demo first, for, for those of you that are iffy on arcade games and stuff. I, I did, I liked it, I had some friends that tried it. Yeah, it's it's $10, it's, it's good for the price, so check it out. Yeah. Alright, I guess that's it. Yeah.